horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high silver. The Lone Ranger. General Mills, makers of Cheerios, the ready-to-eat oat cereal that gives you go power, and Wheaties, the breakfast of champions, present by special recording, The Lone Ranger. When Bill's at bat, the kids all shout, you can't strike that slugger out. He gets a hit because he knows he's got go power from Cheerios. Yes, he's got go power. There he goes. <laughs> he's feeling his Cheerios, Cheerios, Cheerios. Sure, Cheerios, the cereal that's fun to eat because it's shaped like little letter O's. The only ready-to-eat oat cereal with this fresh toasted oat flavor. And listen, every delicious spoonful of Cheerios and milk is real muscle-building food. Each spoonful contains vitamins, minerals, and proteins your body needs. Yes, the good things in a Cheerios breakfast do good things for your body. Help you have healthy nerves, good red blood, strong bones and muscles. Yes, Cheerios is made to give you real go power. So every morning, get going and keep going with Cheerios. Then you'll hear people say, He's feeling his Cheerios. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful mask rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, Victor. I'm Silver. Hooray! including a high government official in Washington, who knew that the Lone Ranger could sometimes be reached through the Padre in a little Spanish mission. When he had a message for the masked man, the Padre let the fact be known to Indians on all sides. Instead of a Padre, a compactly built man in civilian clothes came from inside the mission. The Lone Ranger recognized him as an official from Washington. Drake, what are you doing in the West? When you two have washed and had some food, I'll tell you why I'm here. The man from Washington refused to say more until after the Lone Ranger and Tonto had refreshed themselves and eaten a meal of plain but substantial food. Then, seated at a table in the mission, he looked at the masked man and said, Dice Gorman is in jail. You put him there. I helped. But Sheriff Prindle of Carson County played a large part in his capture. Sheriff Prindle was killed. Gorman shoot Prindle in back. But did you know Gorman was far worse than any stage robber or killer? Worse? That he and a small group of his associates were working to undermine the United States? No, I didn't know that. Now, as to your special assignment. Here, look at this newspaper. Read the headline. Dice Gorman breaks jail. Oh, him get away. Overpowered a guard, took keys, and let himself out. That isn't true. What? Gorman is still in jail and under special guard. There are at least four or five enemies who should be there with him. Those people are more dangerous than Gorman. They're the brains of the spy ring. Gorman was just the gunman, the man for rough work. We want the others, and we've no idea who they are. You say it isn't true Gorman has escaped? No, that newspaper is just a proof. At the proper time, the story will be released and published in all papers. As for you... Well, what shall I do? You will become Dice Gorman. Oh, I see. You're about the same size and weight, and you can wear a beard like Gorman's. I don't know how convincing I can be. Gorman seems to have had very little close contact with his associates. That's why it's almost impossible for us to locate them. That fact, however, will be in your favor. They can't know Gorman very well. When I caught Gorman, he was hiding in a cave. Burning papers, wasn't he? Yes. The papers that would have told us at once that he was an enemy agent. And possibly given the names of his associates. That cave might have been a place of contact or rendezvous. Exactly. His friends, reading of his escape, may look there for him. Good. You've grasped our idea. All right. Release the story, Drake. 
But the papers know Dice Gorman has escaped from jail. Dice Gorman, notorious outlaw, serving a 20-year term for armed robbery and suspected of more than one murder... The carefully planned news story was released to papers in all parts of the country. It flashed by telegraph from coast to coast and border to border. The newspapers in the East paid scant attention... But those in the communities where Gorman had operated as a ruthless outlaw made page one headlines of the startling announcement. Dice Gorman at large. When Abigail Prindle, widow of the sheriff, read the news, her eyes blazed with fury. Sally, her 18-year-old daughter, was equally enraged. That murderer should have been hanged. When I think of him shooting Dad in the back and getting away with it... It couldn't be proved that he killed your father, dear. I know he did. Remember, Mother, I was with Dad when he died. He told me of a secret place where Gorman met his friends. He told you that, Sally? Yes, he did. I didn't know it. I'd like to go gunning for Gorman myself. Sally, you mustn't say such things. Someone at the door. I'll see who it is. Oh, Mrs. Marker. Howdy, Sally. Mind if I step in? No, do come in. Howdy, Abigail. Glad to see you, Mary. Thank you, lad. Did you hear the news about Dice Gorman getting free? Sally, you going out? For a little while. I'm going to go call on the chair. Oh, he's not around, Sally. He's out with his deputies looking for Gorman. Oh, well, I'll wait at his office. But the sheriff... Sally, you're taking your father's gun. Just for protection, Mother. I'll not be long. (sighs) Sake of the night, Abigail. I tried to tell her the sheriff might not be back for two or three days. Oh, Mary, I do hope Sally meant what she said. (sighs) You think she didn't? She was with her father when he died, you know. And I just learned that he told her with his last breath about a secret meeting place Gorman <gasps> had. Oh, I do hope she hasn't gone there looking for him. You think she'll go there looking for Gorman? Well, I hope not. Oh, Abigail, then call her back. She's headstrong, Mary, mighty headstrong, just like her father. If she's put her mind to a thing, nothing will stop her. Mary Marker hurried home, and there her manner changed to a flinty hardness as she called in a boarder named Jenks. Jenks, it's a good thing I went to the Prindle house. I learned something. Oh, yeah? What's that? Before he died, Sheriff Prindle told his daughter a few things. I don't know how much he told her, but she does know about the cave. You get to that cave pronto, Jenks. If you see the girl, tie her up and keep her there. If you see Gorman, tell him to wait until he hears from me. i got to think things over. Well, I don't know Gorman when I see him. If you see a big man with a beard, it'll be Gorman. I get going. The cave that served as a secret meeting place for the conspirators was just a few miles from town. The entrance was hidden by a stand of underbrush, so dense that a person could pass within three feet and never notice the black opening in a cliff. Sally left her horse among some nearby trees and approached the cave on foot. She stopped abruptly when she saw a mud-spattered horse tied to the underbrush. More cautiously than ever, the girl crept forward, little suspecting that her every move was watched from inside the cave by a tall man who wore a beard that resembled the beard of Dice Gorman in place of the mask that marked him as the Lone Ranger. When the girl was just past the doorway, he spoke. Please stand still. You, Dice Gorman. I'll take that gun. No, you murderer, you beast. There, now please tell me quickly who you are and how did you come here with a gun? I came to kill you, Gorman. To kill you the way you killed my father. Your father? Sheriff Prindle. I didn't expect you to come here, Miss Prindle. I, I'm sorry, I'll have to tie you. Why don't you shoot me and be done with it? Shoot me in the back if Dad was shot. This rope will do. You kill me, coward. I, I wish I could convince you that you'll not be harmed. Someone's coming. It's the sheriff to get you. You'd better run while you have the chance. It's not the sheriff, Miss Prindle. I happen to know where he is. There, that will hold you. Hey there, inside. Come in, but come slowly. Don't have a gun in your hand. Yes, I blame you for being careful. Jake! Oh, I see you caught the girl. I came here to warn you she was on the way. You can lower the gun, Gorman. Just you ought to know I'm all right. Sure glad to meet you face to face at last. So you're one of the gang. Too bad you had to find it out, Miss Sally. Now that you know it, you know enough to be dangerous to it. Jenks, did you bring any instructions? Girls be kept here so she can't get away. You're to wait till the boss makes some plans. I'd like to see the boss. Later. 
Meanwhile, you better keep a sharp watch on the girl. She's tired. You watch close anyway. Her father was plenty smart. And they tell me she's as smart as he was. You tell the boss to come here tonight at the latest. I've been through a lot in the past months, and I expect to be paid for it. All right, I'll pass the word. I'm sorry you had to try taking the law in your own hands, Miss Sally. I'm down right sorry for you. Save your sympathy, Jake. Uh, see you later, Gorman. Very well. Now, mister, I, I wish you'd answer just one question. What's that, Sally? You either killed a masked man and stole his belt full of silver bullets, or you're the man who generally wears a mask and you're posing as Dice Gorman. Now, which is it? We'll continue our Lone Ranger adventure in just a moment. All over the country, in every direction, how you, how you doing is the question. And here's one the have that these people have to say. Eating, how are we eating? Do, 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 and okay. Okay. And that's the truth. Take California champions, for instance. Now, way out west, you'll hear us talking about a quarterback we call Van Brocklin, a passing star with Wheaties style who throws that ball a country mile. And Duke Snyder, too, is a West Coast man, a fancy slugger, and a Wheaties fan who takes his bat and scares them all when he knocks the hide right off the ball. Now, these two champions know that there's big energy in their favorite cereal because there's a whole kernel of wheat in every Wheaties flake. Wheaties, breakfast of champions. Keep on eating your weenies And you'll be doo-doo-doo And okay, okay Now to continue The daughter of the murdered sheriff Was an exceptionally discerning girl Though the Lone Ranger was bearded instead of masked and posing as Dice Borman, Sally noticed that his gun belt held silver cartridges. Are you Gorman or the Lone Ranger? Sally, I'm not Dice Gorman. You've complicated things by coming here. I'll have to trust you. Here, I'll untie your hands. Why'd you tie them in the first place? You'd left and told Lawman Dice Gorman was here. It'd have come for me before I could accomplish a special assignment. I couldn't let you do that. No. And now I can't keep you here. You heard what Jenks said. You probably come back with orders to kill you. I'll have to fix up some story of your escape. What is your assignment? As much I can't tell you. I can, however, tell you that I hope to do what your father tried to do. You've got to remember the gang. I wish I could help you. You can help by waiting until dark before you go home. And don't let anyone see you. Get into your house and remain there. <laughs> there your hands are free. Uh, before I go, I wonder if I might have a... Silver book. A memento. Oh, why, of course. Here. Oh, thank you. You really are the Lone Ranger, aren't you? Not a word to anyone but your mother. And caution your mother not to tell. You can count on me. While Sally waited until darkness had gathered before venturing into town... Jenks reported to Mary Marker, a Western agent of the undercover organization. That daughter of the sheriff will make trouble for us unless we take action. Mm, too bad. I rather like the girl. How's Gorman? All right, as far as I know. He uh, wants pay for the time he spent in jail. I'll take care of him. I'll get him out of the country where he'll be safe. There's work to be done in Mexico. I'll send him to our agent there. Uh, he says he wants to see you. You go back, Jenks. Tell him to slip into town around midnight. There'll be a man in back of the livery stable with clothes, papers, and instructions. Also cash. All right, I'll tell you. I'm calling on Mrs. Prindle tonight. I'll sit with her and see that things are kept under control when she worries about Sally not coming back. Hey, what about the girl? You know what about the girl, Jenks. If you don't want to earn the $50 bonus for a shooting, tell Gorman to handle it. That evening, the shades were drawn tight in the home of Sheriff Prindle's widow. Mrs. Prindle sat beside a table with some needlework, while Sally sat nearby holding a silver bullet. 
The girl's reverie was interrupted by a rap on the door. The door, Sally. You better get in the next room. Remember what I told you. Mama. Yes, dear. Oh. Oh, it's just Mary Marker. Do come in. Oh, my sakes, Mary, I have so much to tell you. Sally's had the most amazing thing happen. Sally? Is she here? Oh, yes, of course. Come in, Sally. It's all right. It's just Mary Marker. Well, I told you we weren't to say a word. Oh, but Mary's all right. Well, Sally went to that secret meeting place. She found a man who answered the description of Dice Gorman, but it wasn't what? Gorman. It was the Lone Ranger. <laughs> I should think you would be surprised. Did, uh, did he say why he's here? We can't tell you anymore, Mrs. Marker. Mother shouldn't have told you anything at all. Sally, Mary Marker's one of my best friends. Why, I trusted her with no end of secrets. Even your father trusted Mary Marker. Well, Mary, the truth is, Gorman had other people working with him before he went to jail. Uh, and the Lone Ranger hopes to catch some of them. Oh, uh, he, he does. He's already learned who one of them is. And this will be a shock to you. Yes. Jenkins. Oh, Mother, please don't say any more. It's all right, Sally. Why, I'll just forget every word I've heard. I... Oh, my sakes alive. What's the matter? I declare, Abigail, I came away from the house and left bread in my oven and the fire going. I must get home right away. Oh, what a shame, Mary, and you just got here. Uh, now, why don't you and Sally come with me? It's just a skip and a jump down the street. No, we... we I not... have much to tell you that might tie in with what you've learned about Jenks. Why, um... Maybe I can help that Lone Ranger. Oh, come, Sally. We'll go with Mary. You'll be safe in her home. Jenks wouldn't look for you there. But, Mother, I... Besides, as Mary says, she might have information that would be of help. Oh, it's dark and the streets are empty. No one has seen you. Sally had little choice. She was persuaded to go with her mother to the home of Mary Marker. Make yourselves at home. I'll go to the kitchen and see about my bread. I'll be right back. Mother, I don't smell any bread bacon. Sally, do you think Mary Marker would feel to me? I don't know. Something about that woman. The way she acted when she heard about the Lone Ranger. Anyone would be surprised at what you said. I didn't say it, Mother. You did. And I wish you hadn't. I promised that, ma'am. You kept your promise. You didn't tell anything. There they are, boys. Two men and guns. Oh. Here, you and Sally are in for the biggest surprise of your lives. Meet Scar Benner and Red Tuffy. Don't cry out and don't move, sir. Mrs. Marker, what does this mean? These men are friends of mine. Also, friends of Jenks. Jenks! Mary, what does this mean? Get ropes on these two women. All right, boss. Boss! Get away from me. Let me go, will you? Hurry with those ropes, boys. Get the women tied and get over to the stable. And tell Jenks it's not Gorman in the cave, it's the Lone Ranger. Jenks had already gone to the cave with the instructions for the bearded man. He escorted the lone ranger, whom he thought was Dice Gorman, through the darkness toward the rear of the livery stable. What's the matter? Look over there behind the livery stable. I see several men, but I can't see who they are. There was supposed to be just one man there. Wonder if anything's going wrong. <laughs> Maybe I'm to have company when I ride south. That's Scar Finney. Hi, Scar. Oh, oh, oh. Red, you here too? And Mac, what's the idea? You'll find out, Jenks. All right, get off that horse, mister. I plan to. Here's you, said a big fellow. So you're supposed to be Dice Gorman. Jenks will tell you. Oh, sure he's Dice Gorman. What about it, Red? Get your hands up. What's wrong? Get him up, I said, and fast. Hey, Scott. Take his guns, Red. The guns with the silver bullets. Right. I got his gun. Hey, boys, what's this all about? This ain't Gorman any more than I am. This is the Lone Ranger. What about Gorman? Where's he at? Probably still in jail. The boss thinks the whole thing was a trick to get the rest of us. The evidence to hang us. I guess now Mary will realize I was right when I told her it was dangerous to keep her records and reports and letters in her home. If Sally hadn't talked, this critter would have succeeded in his plan. So there is evidence to hang you. I'm glad to know that. Yeah, but you'll never get to use it. All right, tie his hands and rip off that beard and let's see what the critter really yeah. looks like. Let me get her. Hey, it's a girl. It's what? Sally. Sally, Sally, come back here. Where is she? Here I am. You're 
Over there. Shooting at him. I'll get her. Oh, you won't. Let go of me. Have him. Why, this? Oh, hold his girl back. We'll take charge. Hey, there's men coming. Get this armory off me, will you? I'll get him. No. Me fix him. While the Lone Ranger struggled with the outlaws, the Pebble Man Drake, Tonto, and a couple of other men came forward on the run. Gents was on the ground from the Lone Ranger's blows. Red groveled in pain with a bullet in the leg. The others, Scar and Mac, threw up their hands. Oh, don't shoot, don't shoot. I give up. I'll take back my gun. You got him neat. My leg, my leg. You'll be treated before you go to jail. Oh. This fellow out cold, hey. Jim Sabi. That's Jinx, Tonto. You boys put ropes on these four men. Let me go, Tonto. I want to speak to the low range. Candy, do be careful. There's no danger now. The troops are taken care of. I just wish I could have drilled Jinx. The law will take care of him, Sally. And I think you'll tell a lot of the hope of getting life in jail instead of a hangman's noose. I'll talk plenty. I got no hankering to get my neck stretched. I never done murder. That was Jinx, Joe. Uh, you... Can you tell where the evidence is in Mary Marker's house? Yeah. And the names of the foreign agents who are not in this group? Yeah, including the head man in the East and Mary Marker. Took the Marker woman into custody. Then released Sally and her mother and hurried here. Good. You were being guarded all the time, huh? Until I released Sally from the cave. Then I signaled Toto and Drake to keep an eye on her. We followed the girl, saw her go with her mother to the other house. We went there, then came here when we knew the whole story from Abigail. They came and released us soon after those men left. Drake, you will not need Toto and me any longer. No. We'll take it from here. If every American were like that man, what a nation this would be. How could there be anyone else like that man? He's the Lone Ranger. I'm still uh, copyrighted feature of The Lone Ranger Incorporated is produced by Prendel Campbell Muir Incorporated. The part of The Lone Ranger is played by Brace Beamer. Your announcer, Fred Boy. Listen to The Lone Ranger, brought to you by special recording Mondays through Fridays at this same time.